Welcome back to my little crochet corner. My name is Maham and I crochet pieces that turn your everyday objects into something a little bit cuter. You can find some of my free patterns posted here on my blog. And if you like my work and want to support me with donations or purchase some of my Ko-Fi patterns, you can find those over here. It was my birthday last week and I wanted a cute little table mat to put my cake on. So I decided to crochet one and that is what we're making today. A cute little table mat that you can customize into any size make it larger, make it smaller, and turn into a rug. There's so many options. I can't wait to see yours. Let's get started. For this project, I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and yarn size that's appropriate for that hook. We're going to start off by making a magic ring. I'm doing this really slowly for any beginners out there. And then twist, then grab onto your yarn and you're going to chain one can let go of your fingers and you're gonna have a little circle in the middle and now we're going to be inserting 10 single crochets inside the circle so to do this insert your hook into the circle this is how I like to hold my magic ring yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops so that's my first single crochet I'm gonna do my second and third and I'll come back once I've done all 10. So I've got 10 and now I'm gonna pull the end, make it really tight. And now we're going to be slip stitching into the very first single crochet that we made. So this is my chain one and this is the very first single crochet I made. So I'm just gonna go into it. Okay, it's a little bit tight. So I'm gonna go into it pull up a loop and the same loop I'm gonna slide it here and that's your slip stitch and now we're going to be attaching the color that we want for the petals of the flower so I've got my light pink make a little loop grab onto it with your hook and slide it through and then chain one now you can pull this from the back make it tight and now in that same place where we just did a slip stitch, we're going to be inserting a half double crochet. And you are going to be following a pattern that you're just going to repeat around the flower to make the petals. So yarn over for the half double crochet, insert your hook, and I'm going to be working over these ends so I don't have to weave them in later. So keep your ends with you, hold on to them, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's a half double crochet. Now yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet. Insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So we have chain one, half double crochet, double crochet, and now we're going to work into the next stitch. And we're going to insert a double crochet. yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now in that same stitch we're going to be inserting a half double crochet yarn over and pull through all three now we have our first petal then we're going to chain one and now we're going to end the petal by inserting a slip stitch into the next stitch And then you're going to chain one and now we're going to start the next petal to do this insert a half double crochet into the same stitch where you just slip stitched and then a double crochet in the same stitch and now we're going to work into the next stitch we're going to insert a double crochet and then a half double crochet so there's my double crochet and my half double crochet. Now we're going to end the petal with a chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch, and then we're going to start the next petal with a chain one, 
Okay, I'm struggling here. So I'm just going to cut off these ends so they don't bother me. Okay, so chain one, and in that same stitch, we're going to be inserting a half double crochet and then a double crochet. And this is how you just repeat the pattern until you reach the end of your round. So I just finished my last petal and I chained one and now I'm going to slip stitch over here. So that same place where we started our petals from, just going to slip stitch, chain one, and then you can cut. I'm leaving a bit of an end so I can just knot this into my rug or table mat. And there you go, there's your little flower. Now we're going to be making the rug and we're going to start off by making a magic ring again with whatever color you want for your rug. Insert your hook and twist. Grab onto that and chain one. You can let it go. Chain one more so you have a total of two chains. And now in the circle we're going to be inserting 12 double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's your first double crochet. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now, so just insert a total of 12 double crochets into your circle okay so i have 12 double crochets inside my magic ring let's count it together that's my chain one chain two and starting from here till this very last one over here i have 12 double crochets or 12 stitches so i'm going to pull my magic ring make it tight like that and now we're going to be inserting a slip stitch into our first double crochet. So that's our chain one, chain two, and right over here, we're going to insert our hook and we're going to slip stitch like that. And now we're going to start our second round by chaining two. So we always start each round with a chain two. And now in that same place where we just slip stitched, we're going to insert two double crochets. And in every other stitch all around the round, we're just going to go around inserting two double crochets in each stitch. So I did two double crochets here. I'm going to go into the next stitch and insert two double crochets there as well. And in the next one, two double crochets. And just do this until you come back over here. So here I have 24 double crochets, two in each stitch. That's our chain one, chain two, and starting from here all the way around till here, I have 24 double crochets. And do not double crochet into this one because that is where we slip stitched. And now we're gonna go into the first double crochet that we made right over there. And we're going to slip stitch again. And now for our third round, we're going to start it again by chaining two. And this time our pattern is going to be one double crochet, two double crochets. So that means I'm going to insert one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to insert two double crochets. That's my first and I'm inserting my second. And now we're just going to repeat the pattern all around. So one double crochet. And in the next one, two double crochets. And just repeat this all around till you have 36 stitches. Here I am at the end of my round. Each of your rounds is going to end on an increase which is what we call when we insert two double crochets into one stitch. So you start your round off with one double crochet and you end with an increase. And this is where your chain two is. So we're not going to be inserting any stitches into there. So chain one, chain two, and slip stitch into your first double crochet to end the round. 
This is what it looks like so far. It is curving up a bit, but it's okay if that happens. You can just put something heavy on it and make it flat. This is just the easiest way that I found to crochet in a continuous round. That's pretty beginner friendly as well. Now we're gonna start off the next round with a chain two. And this time our pattern is going to be one double crochet, one double crochet, increase or two double crochets. So one, one, two, and we're gonna do this all around. And as we go around our rounds, we're just going to increase the number of one double crochets that we do before our increase. So one, one, and in this next one, I'm going to insert an increase, which is two double crochets. Okay, so we're just gonna do one, one, two, all around. We do it one more time, one, one, and in the next one, two, which is an increase. Okay, so just do this all around till you reach the end. I just finished my fourth round and I'm gonna end it by slip stitching into the first double crochet of the previous round. And I'm gonna start my fifth round by chaining two. And now our pattern is going to be one, 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 two. So three double crochets and then an increase. So this is how our pattern is going to work. You're just going to add one more double crochet before you do an increase. Okay, so one, one, one. And then an increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. And I'm just gonna repeat this all around till I get to the end. I'm gonna slip stitch to connect, and then I'm gonna start row six. If you're still confused as to how to go about doing the rounds, I've included some patterns for the next few rounds that I'm going to do in the description box. So you can find those there and just follow that. But basically, you just increase the number of single double crochets that you do before you do an increase. So I did three double crochets and I'm going to do an increase. And in my sixth row, I'm going to do four double crochets in each stitch before I do my increase. I just finished doing 11 rounds for my table mat. That's how big I want it to be. And I chained one and then cut it the same way that I did for the flowers. And now I'm gonna be showing you how to attach the flowers on. So for this part, you're gonna start by inserting your hook into the stitch where you want to attach your flower, like that. And then grab the end of the flower, make it tight. Make sure that your flower is facing the wrong side. loop it one more time i'm not sure how to explain this but i hope that the demonstration makes it clear enough and now you're gonna find any place where you can put your hook through grab onto the end and you're gonna have this little loop over here take the end and just push it into the loop and pull Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit so you can see what I did there. I just made a little knot and now I'm gonna pull this really tight, super tight, and it would have been attached. This is how I attached all of them. Just make sure that it's super tight. And then when you turn it back around, you're gonna see that your flower is attached. And that is how I joined my flowers.